I have the opportunity and absolute privilege this morning to share my story and the recent journey throughout the pregnancy of our daughter. On the 3rd of September 2020, my husband and I received a call, a phone call only a couple of hours after our 20-week morphology scan with the incredibly difficult and heartbreaking news that there were some major concerns surrounding our little baby's brain. We very quickly became of high concern in our pregnancy and we were sent to receive a second opinion, which led to a follow-up MRI to confirm one of two potential diagnoses. After the MRI, it was discovered that our baby's brain had a cyst developing and it was impacting the development of their cerebellum. This diagnosis was the worst of the two potential outcomes. An incredibly rare syndrome called Dandy Walker malformation. Our doctors did not have a lot of hope of a normal life for our little one at this halfway point. This news turned our world upside down. Within our grief of coming to the terms with a diagnosis, I will never forget the conversation which followed very quickly after, where they sadly offered and said, it's okay if you choose to have an abortion. That option is available. In the weeks following, termination of the pregnancy was again suggested as our team wanted to make it really clear that we understood that we could change our minds with the unexpected quality of life for this child. Little did they know of my personal journey or the reality that it was actually already a miracle that I was in fact pregnant. Many times I had been devastatingly told the chances of falling pregnant and having a baby were highly unlikely. We made it very clear that abortion was not an option for us. This baby stays with us right through to the end, no matter the disability, no matter the diagnosis, no matter the heartache or the challenges we might face with the unknown. This baby is a gift, a precious part of our family regardless. Our baby deserved every chance at life and to be loved. For the following 20 weeks of the pregnancy in the high-risk unit, all our doctors were happy with the progress after each scan. Our baby was growing. Their little brain wasn't under extreme pressure of fluid buildup, nor was there further damage detected. But the cyst was still present and there were still concerns that there could be a major impact on the brain development. We had to prepare for the unknown, and that's a really scary place to be in when told to prepare for your child that they may need 24-7 care for the rest of their life. The chances of a fairly normal life was incredibly slim, which as a result was placed on a spectrum of potentially mild disability all the way to severe disability. We were unsure whether our child would ever be able to walk, talk, recognise us as mum and dad, or ever be able to interact with their older sibling. The uncertainty, anguish and fear of what to prepare for was heartbreaking. When meeting with specialists to hear and be confronted with the reality that majority of babies don't make it further than 20 weeks stage after a diagnosis similar to ours. Their understanding and research surrounding Dandy Walker was very limited due to babies being terminated at this stage. Our child was one that brought about great interest due to the babies that they see to gain further research and knowledge in this really rare brain malformation. This is such a tragedy and devastating that human life is no longer considered valuable or precious with such a diagnosis. No longer are these little babies even given an opportunity at a chance at life. At our final scan at 37 weeks, this was just four weeks before our baby's birth, the cyst, the underdeveloped areas within our baby's brain and diagnosis did not change at all. Everything was all very much present. Options were strongly suggested for an early intervention and the pressure to deliver our baby before full term was recommended. But we stood firm fighting for this child, believing God wasn't done yet. For our baby remaining in the womb to full term, was the safest place and a priority to allow complete development in all areas. I remember many times feeling completely overwhelmed with our uncertain future, whether I was strong enough as a mother and what it might look like with the unknown challenges raising a severely disabled child due to the complications. 
at 41 weeks full term. Thursday the 28th of January, our little girl Savannah arrived and her MRI was booked for the next day. My husband sat in on the MRI and ultrasound that day, nervously watching as our little girl was being scanned for the final diagnosis and a clearer idea of what the impact of that cyst had on her little brain. On Monday afternoon, our doctor came into the room to deliver the results of the MRI. We will never forget that moment. After engaging in a little bit of small talk and some joy that our family had met our little girl, the doctor said, well, in other good news, I actually have her results here. The final report came back with absolutely no trace or evidence of the Dandy Walker malformation. No longer was the cyst detected at all. No abnormalities, no fluid or pressure or swelling within her little brain. Her little brain was perfect. Our God is amazing. Our doctors and specialist team who had been paying particularly close attention to our baby's development were left stunned. Perfect and healed and made whole through the miraculous power of Jesus. Our daughter's story tells a story of hope when many doctors saw no hope. It tells of a creator, a God who designed and formed every inch of Savannah. In Psalm 139, verse 13, many of you would have heard this passage in the Bible because it declares, for you are made all the delicate parts of, in my inner body are knitted together perfectly in my mother's womb. Our family and our little baby were prayed for by so many precious people throughout my pregnancy the, uh, that amongst the disappointment of there being no immediate answer to our prayers, I truly had to trust God with every ounce of faith. I had that he was not done yet. He was still knitting and forming together a in a beautiful way our precious baby. Savannah's story is a story of faith, trust and the power of prayer. She is a living miracle. She is a true gift from the Lord and a demonstration of His mighty power and great love for He is the creator of each and every child conceived. This little girl has been a miracle from the very start when doctors and professionals had very little hope. They did not see the whole picture. They didn't know the final result from their initial diagnosis and what that would be. To speak with our doctor who shared that final MRI result with us, in that moment, through tears, she said to me, I don't see this often enough. I don't get to witness little babies who journey through their whole pregnancy and receive or see results like this. In Psalm 139 verse 14, it was such an encouragement throughout my pregnancy where it says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. How wonderful are your works and I know that full well. I have the privilege of introducing my little girl. She's actually here with me today. To us, we just believed Savannah's precious, valuable, purposeful life was worth fighting for. His answer and response to our prayers was far more than we could have ever hoped or imagined. Her testimony is a privilege to share and we want to honour and give glory to our God.